A major week in global leadership as Obama wins a second term the same week as China kicks off its Communist Party Congress, where it will choose its next leaders. I met with Peking University's renowned economics professor Yao Yang and asked him whether this was good news and what will be the main changes in U.S.-China relations. The re-election of Barack Obama is good news for China. Chinese people have always been willing to deal with people that they are familiar with. There will also be more continuity in terms of government policy. I think that overall his re-election is very good news for China. U.S.-China relations also face mounting challenges as China grows more assertive in Asia. How will things change on that front? The U.S. has in effect been favoring one side in China's territorial disputes with its neighbors. This is not beneficial for the stability of the region. In fact, China's policies on these issues have not changed over the long term. China hopes the countries in the region can get along peacefully, and even if we have disagreements, that we can put them aside and discuss mutual exploration in disputed areas. China will persist with this approach, and we hope that President Obama will understand our policy during his second term in office. Leading up to the elections, the Obama administration has been tough on China with anti-dumping tariffs, solar panels, for example. Uh, it's blocked some big investments, including that of Sunny Group, which has to now divest from a wind farm near a military base. Will things be better in the second term? In fact, China's foreign investment to the United States has been increasing through the years, and they have been increasing very rapidly. If you go look deeper into the different states, many of them have been eager to welcome Chinese businessmen to invest there. The case involving Sani Group is an isolated example, and it cannot be seen representative of a change of the policy of the Obama administration. In some sense, this might have been a way to pull in votes during the presidential election by showing that he is tough on China. I think after his re-election, this kind of policy cannot continue. What stance do you expect China's new leadership to take with the U.S.? How will things be different? I feel that in the next 10 years, under the next generation of Chinese leaders, China's economic strength will increase dramatically. Even before 2020, China will overtake the United States and become the world's biggest economy. It will then not be acceptable internationally for anyone to say China cannot participate in international affairs because it does not have the adequate economic strength. I think China's new generation of leaders will have a greater say in international affairs and be more proactive in joining in to address common global issues. I feel this would be welcomed by the United States.